Now the electric shutoff kit comes with some Schedule 80 PVC uh, that can get connected to the front of the unit. Now you don't have to use it. Uh, to do that we're going to take out the brass garden hose fittings that are on the front, the nipple and the coupler because we're going to hook it up with Schedule 80 PVC. But you're, you're, you, are complete, you can hook this up any way you want. You can use a garden hose to the solenoid valve. I mean, there's a million ways to hook this up. But the best way, really, is to use uh, some Schedule 80 on the electric shutoff kit. So first thing I'm going to do is take off the garden hose brass stuff, because we're not going to use it. And then we're going to put some Teflon on the Schedule 80. Now you really should follow standard plumbing codes. If this is a little unfamiliar to you, uh, definitely hire a plumber. This is uh, stuff you don't want to screw around with. It's got to be done right. But it's also not that difficult either. So I'm going to wrap a little Teflon, five wraps or so, on, this, on these nipples. I'm going to put the smaller nipple on first, wind that right into the pre-filter housing. And it's fitting a little loose, so uh, I'm going to put on a little more Teflon. One thing to know about plumbing, if a fitting goes in and you can turn it three full revolutions and it's still loose, you need a lot of Teflon. And the standard rule is one and a half to three wraps, no way. Try eight, nine, ten wraps. Um, because a lot of these fittings are out of spec. They're from different manufacturers, different places, um, and, uh, and we're dealing with plastics. I mean, they never come in the same every day. So that was about three turns, and it was still loose. If it goes in three turns and starts to tighten up, that's perfect fit. You only need three to five wraps of Teflon. I'm starting to get tight here at three wraps, so I'm pretty confident of this seal. And I'm just going to wind that in. I'm going to put my smaller nipple on the bottom. Now we're going to put on the solenoid valve. Uh, when you install the solenoid valve, there's an arrow on the body. And you want to point the arrow up towards the direction of flow. You'll also notice there's a solenoid coil and a manual override switch. That goes closest to the water filter. And we're just going to wind it on like that. Now these are plastics, so don't over torque anything. Go one more turn that. Okay. Throw this sediment filter back on. Give it a little tighten. Never over tighten your pre-filters or you'll never get them off. Okay. So now the electric shutoff kit is connected. And one thing we want to do is make sure the coil is tight here. There's a bolt on top. Uh, it can loosen up. It's something to check continually over time, too. Just make sure the stainless nut on top of the solenoid coil is tight. And make sure the manual override switch is closed, which is a perpendicular to the water flow. Open. I'll turn it up like this so you can see. Open is... Uh, <clears throat> when the switch is parallel to the pipe and then perpendicular facing down uh, is closed. 